Hello, hello, welcome back guys to my Yay! channel. This is Lava Baba and you're watching in my newest episode which is what is inside my gym. guys to my Yay! channel this is Lava Baba and you're watching in my newest episode which is what is inside my gym okay so I will be touring you guys kasi ang daming nagtatanong kung ano bang meron sa aking gym dito sa bahay hindi to gym na anytime fitness or gold's gym ha don't expect so much. <laughs> Pero, syempre, dati kasi, hindi ko masyado pinapansin yung uh, gym. Dahil runner ako eh. So, I, I tend to just do cardios. And then, syempre, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, napilitan tayong lahat na magkaroon ng gym sa loob ng bahay natin. So, isi-share ko lang naman sa inyo kung anong merong equipment or mga stuff that are inside my gym. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, yung aking IG story na at love ang bata. Uh, everyday akong merong entry for my everyday fitness goals. So, currently I'm in my day 202, I guess. So, there are times na hindi ako nakapag everyday, pero dahil may nag-golf din ako ngayon, there are times na hindi na ako nakapag exercise in the morning. So, syempre, golf kasi ang 18 holes, it takes about if you start at 7 o'clock in the morning, it's tapos kami 12. So, mga 4 to 5 hours din siya. Kaya, wala na ako energy mag-exercise minsan. But sometimes, pag kaya ko pa, exercise pa ako for a day. What I really learned about uh, having fitness or uh, fitness equipment or gym inside the house is hindi lang cardio, pero natutunan ko rin yung strengthening workouts and core workouts. Because prior to having a pandemic, Mahina ako pag nagbubuhat at yung mga push-ups, hindi ko pa nakakayanan. Pero endurance ko with the running, kaya ko makatapos ng 42 kilometers. Imagine that. It took me 42 kilometers, 5 hours and a half and 30 minutes. So, ganun kalakas yung endurance ko. Pero when it comes to strengthening, sobrang hina. Alam nyo naman yung anlalaki ng mga anak ko. So, they are around like 25 pounds each. Actually, si Kobe 30 na yata. Pero I needed muscle. I needed to build muscle for this kind of of course, for being a mom. And, syempre, para sa akin dun, din yun, I have to be a strong woman, an independent woman. Yeah, shut up. So, yan. I'll show you in a while what's inside my gym. Minsan, hindi ko alam yung tawag, pero ginagabit ko kayo siya. Kaya, watch out. Ayan, guys. So, nandito na tayo sa aking gym. And, it's barely 3 by 8 square meters. It's actually an extended part of our house. I'll tour you on the equipment that we have here. Because along uh, pandemic, dun lang ako nag order online or even from our neighbors ng mga equipment namin. So, yeah, I'll show you guys and give you two. So, right now, first of all, this is my dumbbell. I have a stand for this. Actually, this is uh, my favorite dumbbell right now kasi ano to eh, space saver. Because look, we have different kinds of uh, weights that you can just adjust. Kanyari, gusto mo ng 3.5. So, you just have to adjust it also here okay and then oh angat mo lang oh, 3.5 na yan and then if it's too heavy for you you can just adjust it 2.5 and the other side at 3.5 again and see so nice 
So this one naman, ito yung ginagamit for my arms. I'll show you later how I use this. Order lang din yan sa Chain Active. And then this one sa kapitbahay. And over in the corner, we have this gym set for pagbubuhat. Yeah. So we have our weights here na tag 15 kilograms each. And this one is 25 kilograms. Sobrang heavy. So here naman, we have yung half ball na stability ball. Ito madalas kong ginagamit yan. And then this one is the from sand ball siya. So this is 35 pounds. This one my favorite kettlebell. I think 8 kilograms yata to eh. So here you can see my two colored yoga mats. This is the boxing stand that I bought din sa kapitbahay. So if you can see I have a stability ball there and also one pink here. Mas palambot kaysa doon. So medyo harder, medium size yan. Ito naman, easy. Easy siya. So this one, roller, this is good for your core. So you, you can put your feet here inside, you can strap it on, and then your hands mo nasa floor, and then you will be rolling your foot forward parang sa tinatak mo, tak exercises. So good for the core. And also for this one, yung aming verti block. This is the one I use for leg exercises. And then, ang aking mahiwagang cabinet. So here, as you can see, ito yung favorite kong jump pro. So it's live pro. Hindi ito yung unang-unang ginamit ko nung natuto akong mag-jump pro. Itong pandemic. So, kung ano yung number of days ko na nag-exercise in the house. Yun din yung number of days na nag-jump rope ako. Kasi dati hirap na hirap ako mag-jump rope. Hindi ako marunong. But I was inspired by Ellen Adarna, siyempre. I bought my jump rope yung una sa Decathlon. Actually, I gave it to my sister already. Hi, Pin! Ang maganda doon sa jump rope na yun, meron kasi yung weights inside that you can remove kapag um, masyadong mabigat. And then if you want to make your arms toned pa while jumping go. Mas maganda yung may weights. But then this one, actually, mabigat to. Mabigat to. Tsaka, sa tagal, ito ang tumagal sa akin. Siguro, ano na to? Nabili ko to online din eh. Sa, with the train active. Tapos ang maganda sa kanya, ano siya? Hindi siya plastic inside. Talagang parang wire siya. Usually, I use this for yoga yung pag-press habang nag-yoga. Sa decathlon ko lang ito din binili. A lot of mga strengthening belts. So, may mga maninipis, may makakapal. So, ito yung nagbibuild ng strength talaga. Pero itong makakapal, ito, mas grabe ito. Matutuon ka dito. Mahirap siya. Hard yan. So, mas makapal siya, mas mahirap. And then, I also tried using this one, yung weights sa legs pag nag-exercise, nakakapagod. Good for ano to? For walking. Uh, para mas mapagod, mas mapawisan. Kung hindi masyado tumatakbo yung person. I suggest that this is one way to intensify your walking. Yeah. And then this one, yung booty band. Pinagamit ko. Ordered din online. So this is the one I use sa thighs ko. Here, you, you should put it here. This one is the massage. Para kung masakit kung sore yung dito ko na massage na yung legs. This one naman. Nung sa mahilig mag 360 HIIT high intensive training. Ito yung isa sa mga ginagamit na pang course nila. Para kung gusto mong mag push up na sunod sunod, mag squats na sunod sunod. Para siyang panlarong pang bata na yung naga hop. So, ito yun. Yan, basically, yung mga shoes na ginagamit ko pang exercise. Tapos, ito yung uh, hurdles na ginagamit yung pag uh, 360 degree training sa HIIT. So, ito. Live Pro, then I ordered it online. Basically, yun lang naman. Nagamit ko dito sa bahay. 
Pero ang usual na ginagawa ko kasi, kailangan ko cardio ako for at least 15 minutes. And yung cardio ko now is only jump rope. Well, sometimes I do run with my neighbor. Pero, nahirapan kasi ako may mask. Mas comfortable ako mag-jump rope. And ang maganda sa jump rope, marami akong natutunan na tricks. Pero hindi pa ako sobrang galing sa ibang tricks. But then, I do uh, jump rope every session na 500 reps. So, hindi dapat ako bumaba doon. Pwede ako mag-1,000, pero hindi ako pwede bumaba sa 500. Kasi kung hindi, hindi nagpa-pump yung blood ko masyado. Hindi ko maging heart rate ko, hindi tumataas ng sobra. It should be 500. Tsaka dapat tuloy-tuloy, hindi ako nagsistop. After that, kasi in a day, kaya ko mag-30 minutes. Pwede rin naman minsan, one hour, pero depende sa schedule ko, sobrang puno ng schedule ko in a day. I do core exercises, pero I do it not every day. Kailangan ipasa mo naman sa arms mo, and then leg day. You know, you have to do it uh, alternately. Hindi pwedeng masanay yung muscle mo, hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng muscle memory, or else parang mababaliwala na lang. And then you should always make yourself parang... You have to strive and kunyari kung mabigat, kailangan i-work out mo na mabigat. Kasi kung sanay na yung katawan mo, bali wala na rin yung workout eh. Kung, kung nagagaanan ka na, you have to go to the next level or to the next weights. Yun, that's how I keep myself healthy and fit. Sa pagkain naman, wala naman ako masyadong hinihindihan sa pagkain. Kanin lang talaga. But sometimes I eat pastas. But definitely, nagchichips ako. Kumakain ako ng uh, sweets dahil hindi ko kaya mawala yan, especially cheat days. Of course, I drink like wine, alcohols, like mga gin, yan, to relax myself. Hindi pwedeng hindi mawala yun sa akin. So, there, I still have mga, like this one, eh, no? may mga flabs pa rin ako that I need to tone more. Pero mahirap kasi yung iba dyan loose skin na because of my pregnancy. Sobrang taba ako dati tapos ngayon 120 pounds. Dati umabot ako 170 so imagine that the skin was really stretched out. So it's really hard until and unless na magkaroon na ako ng operation. Which is ayaw naman ng asawa ko, hindi ako papayagan. Bawal. <laughs> So that's one repetition. You can always do that ng three times with of course resting first. And then another position would be like this one. This is the next one. Uh, maraming uh, use actually. I'll show you all the exercises that you can use this with. Actually this comes with a string for strengthening then for the arms from pull. So now I'm gonna show you how to use this one, okay? So for push up, well, this one will make your push up harder. So you put it here and then give a push up stance for your hands. And then it will help you balance more. So that's one way. Another one would be for ano naman, burpees. So on burpees natin, di ba? Um, you're gonna jump up and then jump down for push up. So. guys like this episode and if you do please share and like and subscribe in my channel so for every one of you who wants to suggest again any topics that you want me to talk about or share with you just let me know comment down below and I'll see you again next time stay safe bye